Hey boys, welcome. Guess what? Guess what's new, guys? What's that, Ted? What could possibly we've got a be new, new? We've got a new musical intro here. Um, I don't wow. know if you guys can hear Ooh. this. I'm grooving. I'm, actually, I'm, I'm not grooving. just hearing it, Ted. I'm kind of feeling it a little bit. I'm feeling yeah. it, man. Ooh. Not only that, what the hell we've got also <laughs> we've also got a new guest, Matt Watson. He's on the hey. podcast. What's up? How the hell did you get in here? Uh, I, just, I just hacked into Discord. He climbed in through oh, the window. Dude, I'm grooving so hard, I don't even mind. Welcome to the show. Here comes the, the, the intro. Too, Either way, uh, oh, guys. get ready, folks. I got Welcome a to uh, it's the about Chuckle to Sandwich. <laughs> it's- Yeah, so welcome, really? ladies and gentlemen, to the Chuckle Sandwich Podcast, uh, hey, now with a, <laughs> with a spicy new intro. Uh, I'm Ted. I'm here with Charlie and Schlacht. Howdy. And, and we've hey. got a, uh, a beautiful guest today on the podcast, the, the uh, swindling. No, let him. Swindling. swindling? Let him introduce himself. Like let him introduce himself. Like a car himself. salesman? Yeah. 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 Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Matt Watson. Uh, yeah, I, I'm on the channel Super Mega, and I make music, and I'm on Twitter. Wow. Where can, now, where can, people, where can people find you there as well on Twitter? What's your at? Matt H. Watson. Yeah, it would be. Uh, Matt, we've got some questions for you here today. We appreciate you coming in. Um, Absolutely. Just some stuff we kind of want to nail down uh, for the Chuckle Sandwich podcast. Um, the first thing we have here on the list, uh, mm-hmm. if you're ready. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Good. 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 You better be ready. Yeah. Because I'm. I, yeah. These are, I these came are hard hitting. Listen, Matt. Big I don't boys. really know you, man. So I, you know, I, you, I'm gonna need you to just really confirm that you're ready for this one. As I'm 100 right percent ready. One. I'll do whatever I need to do to to prove that too. Okay. You're gonna yeah, be well, my good. You're gonna be my good little girl today, Maddie. Yeah. I'm gonna you're be gonna be my girl. my good girl. Yes. I'll be your good little girl. I promise. Good. I'll do whatever you want me to do. Good. <laughs> give Give him a little kiss. All right. All right, you little... Give, you little. give daddy a little... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's start the questions. Oh, we're Come so on. glad to have daddy's little girl here on the show. Do you <laughs> wet your toothbrush before or after applying the toothpaste? After. What? After? Who the fuck after? does it before? I, I do it after. I put the toothpaste on... And then it's like, I, I think if I put the, the water on, yeah. well, actually, you know what? I kind of go 50-50. I just do whatever I'm feeling A splash in the and then another splash? I just, I, I don't know. I feel like a, the water serves as a bit of a primer for the toothbrushing mm. experience. I can't That's imagine true. putting it on before. It's I like, do both. It doesn't matter because I need to put a little... <laughs> I need to flatten out the toothpaste with the water or something, well, I guess. That's nonsense. This implies I brush my teeth. Let me, I don't brush my teeth, actually. So oh, let you me don't brush your teeth. No. What do you do? You're a crusty guy, then, huh? Nothing. I just I drink. I I gurgle some water. The toothpaste industry is a scam. The whole dental industry is a scam. You just got it two was... big t- slabs in your mouth. Oh, I get it. You no, got it's two like big slabs of of tar and plaque. Man. It's like yeah, when you're in like the shower and you use the you use the shampoo. And you just let it run down the rest of your body, and don't use body oh, yeah. wash. You don't need all the. You don't need conditioner. No. And body wash. It's like no. how you get in the shit. shower, and you don't really want to deal with it. Also, you gargle the shampoo instead. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then that really... cleans your teeth. Mm-hmm. You want I used to get wash my hair with you a bar of soap when I, when I was a kid. I just uh... take a bar of soap and just do my hair with okay, it. Okay, I actually did that too. Horrible. I was when I was on the swim team and they didn't they didn't have like shampoo and conditioner in the showers. I would just take like a shit ton of hand soap and just like mm. fully lubricate myself in the hand wow. soap and then cross my I think it would work. It doesn't work. It no, it doesn't by any means, but I'll tell you what's really fun is when you're just coated in hand soap and you cross your arms and then you make a really big bubble. What brand oh, was it? Oh yeah. Mm. What, soft soap? It no, I dude. It was a shower. Irish it was Springs. like it was like the yellow kind that just makes you dry and sad mm-hmm. afterwards. But you don't. oh the yellow kind, yeah, it, yeah. It was you know the yellow one. Yeah, you know I, yellow absolutely. One. Yeah. Daddy's little girl knows the yellow kind. I know the yellow kind quite well. Trust me. Okay, I like to so, go for a, a quick five in one. I want to. Well, I want to. I want to circle on back here to to Matt and his uh, 
caked canines here um, because yeah, personally, personally, I, I wet before, and I'll tell you why, guys. <laughs> um, it's because the bristles, you know, and everyone uses a soft toothbrush. That's the one that dentists always say to use. Or no, 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 bristles. no. You use we a hard are, toothbrush. It doesn't make you more you of a use man a hard to destroy toothbrush. your gum, Slat. What are D you talking about? Dude, just take about? your fingernail you and scrape those, those, buddy. You th the, Take your the fingernail and scrape the, the plaque off. The are remarkably strong. No way. They're Ten remarkably years from now. strong. Ten years from now, you, you're going to be all flesh You brush and with no a hard, you hard sicko. bristle. You're going to be all Listen, freaking flesh, dude. My, my dentist, I'll tell you what I like to My do. dentist tells me my gums are immaculate. You're going to chew something, and it's going to sound like stirring around mac and cheese, man, because no, all your teeth are going to be no, freaking man. gone. man. You have no yeah, idea uh, what you're wet talking about. You wet the bristles beforehand to soften the bristles even further and to fully no. regulate them. I don't Get think them it ready makes... for entry. Put a little oil on those bristles, man. A uh, little, guys, like, motor oil. That Yeah. I, I have something. Um, what I like to do is I like to you're scratch so at it. my teeth, like... Uh, Similar to how maybe if you're living in the 1600s and you're a pirate and you've been put in the, in the brig, right? And you're scratching mm. at the door right. because you're dying of scurvy. Kind of a weird, oh yeah, that's man! Get like all that plaque my relationship your with my teeth. I'm scratching away at my you're teeth. Scratching yeah, your teeth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ever yeah. you ever like go in the shower and just scratch your face and all the oil and grease? Comes it's, off. Well, it can be hard while you're oh, gargling yes. all the mm. shampoo. Yeah, well, I, I'm a multitasker, Charlie. So while I'm gargling the shampoo and apply, and letting it drip all the way down my body, I'm also scratching at myself. I hope you know this is, like, effectively <laughs> a horror the, movie The scene. imagery here yeah, is a yes, little madman. No, modified. I do that, too. Terminator 2. I do two. that, too. I take the finger. I take I take my finger, and I, like, the, the, the crease of your nose where your nose meets your face, bro, you, you scratch that shit down in the shower, and you get some, you know, you get, you get some oil and some gross okay, things. Okay, well, actually, I can you kind get of some, see where you're coming you from. You get some yum-yum. <laughs> No, 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 oh, yeah. no, no. <laughs> you get some yum yum. In the shower. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. This, is, this is revolting. Wow. Oh I save mine up, actually. It's I have a little... I, I, like, say, I stick it on the edge oh, of the shower. It's I like Terminator 2. You, you're the Terminator. You're the T-100. Metal living flesh over metal endoskeleton, you know? I hope nobody's listening while they're eating right now. I hope no one's listening. Be a, <laughs> oh, man. If, if, this is, if this is what's going to gross people out, then... What? Beca you say I, it as if I, it's a prelude to something else you're going to say, man. No, I'm just, just, just on, just out with on our podcast, we say some really school. gross shit that actually get, upsets me. Get all your gunk out on the table, bro. Get it all out. Um, I, I did shit in the shower the other week. That's awesome, dude. So you stepped on it, the it, you stepped on the drain and you made a little <laughs> no, you made a exactly waffle. Exactly what our first fucking guest did. Are we goddamn cursed, man? Matt, are you sure well, no, 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 you're I, a waffle stomper? No, 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 no. Listen, I, I, I was in the shower and I was laying well, down. Well, I'm glad I like you mentioned waffles, Ted, here, because I've got actually a bullet point just so we can circle around here. I hope no one <laughs> oh, minds yeah, yeah, yeah. way. Uh, I have a little bullet point. Are waffles just grilled pancakes? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, I, and Charlie. I hate to Before take us off the topic, on to that. I really, really, <laughs> no. really do. I loathe the <laughs> fact that I must, but Matt, I have to. So I when you shit in the shower, you took so your Matt, foot and you stomped it into the tree. Yeah, Matt. <laughs> no. You're, you're telling me you, you're a bit of a waffle stompy boy. Huh? Waffle and what is a waffle, but if not a <laughs> cold pancake? Daddy's little girl's a bit of a uh, waffle stomp. <laughs> 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 something we could get into. No, oh. it was it was it was purely diarrhea, so there was no stomping. Oh, Christ, no. man! Oh Christ. no! Calm down, Charlie. Charlie, come on. Oh, man. like you guys you, haven't shit in the shower before. All right. You're a little drama queen right now, Charlie. Pull it together, you little rascal. I'm gonna Dude. start giving you a, a, a noogie. Listen, I'm Ooh. I'm just I'm just trying to give you some thinkers, okay? This is this is yeah, stuff hit, that hit I've me. thought about while I've been in the shower and never once while thinking about it have I proceeded to just shit down the drain. I mean, have you it ever was, seen it just started like as an a accident. big old turd rolling down the, the slope of the shower and you're like, that needs some good old stomping. How right did now. it get there, Ted? <laughs> if not me, if not if not being already my <laughs> shit. Well, you know, you're on the swim team, Charlie. You Surely you took some group showers in your life. 
And never, and never once did I see a turd rolling None in the your... fucking in the currents of the of the swim team shower. <laughs> never would you once. Like, None of your. Would you like? Never to once did I see a fat shit out? backstroking <laughs> down the fifty. You're meters in the wrong in our shower, shower, then, my man. You're in the wrong never shower, once. dude. I, you know, there were even some, like, you know, every swimming pool's got kind of a couple weird old guys walking around in the locker rooms. There was oh, never, yeah, of course. never a single one spins. of them either was, was shitting down the drain. Those guys always had the biggest, fattest, juiciest cocks, too. <laughs> Fuck off, man. <laughs> yeah, it's like dad dicks. Dad dicks are massive, They're and it's so always, big. like, that kind of, like... They're so and, large. And they got the big white bush, too. Mm. Are, are dicks, <laughs> like, the same thing as uh, ears and noses, where they just keep growing? Every year you get older. I sure hope so. Or do they just thing that happens? Or do they just swell yeah, in your size keeps... all of a sudden the moment you become fifty years old? Do you know what? Do you know what my girlfriend said to me thirty minutes before we recorded this show? Really? I I you sent... have such a big penis. No, she didn't. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't. We, we got <laughs> we got, no, we got on the top. Okay, listen. That. You mentioned noses and ears, and I oh, sent her Charlie, a you're a I, coke. You're so I, sent... <laughs> I sent her a picture. <laughs> <laughs> of of a, a fix it mm. Felix with my, with my name under it, which was a meme that someone did a long time ago, and she said that's not what Disney character you look like, and I said what Disney character do I look like, you know, of my life? I'm wondering what is she gonna say here? Is it gonna be something? And she just start she just goes quiet for like two minutes. Um, this is in person, like it's not something. She no, this was over the phone. This was over the phone uh, oh. as well. So she fully wow. had she had time to, to understand. You were on the phone. You had the phone up to your ear, and there was just silence on the other line for two full minutes. Yeah, and I put her on speaker because I wanted to hear. And she said, "I look like a combination." And I said, "Okay, here, you know, this could this could be good." I'm, I'm a little bit of a hybrid. Two. Okay. Of Phineas and Ferb. <laughs> oh, you look like Charlie, a combination so of both of them. Of both Charlie, of literally s- the characters with like the most grotesque faces, <laughs> well, not just one you, but two. Charlie, do you, you sweet do, boy? A, I'm so sorry. I think that's a compliment. How? How? Phineas and Ferb are beloved. I'm a rhombus, Matt. You you are the simultaneously the most square-headed boy, while also simultaneously being the most angled-headed yeah, boy. Yeah, apparently my face is built like a your- fucking boat, dude. <laughs> I don't. I can't. I can't possibly comprehend. I don't. It, and it's like now. I now. I. I. I just hung up because I don't want to be a wedge. You know. Oh you yeah. Know? You should have. You should have said fuck yeah. you, you stupid bitch, yeah. and you should have broken up with her right then. That's and that. You know what? There's. There's still 104 days in summer vacation. That's what we always say. <laughs> oh man. Oh, that was reliant. days to do some good waffle stomping. Dude, shut up about the waffles. What? Why is it? Like okay, huh? technically, I, I why does it bother you so much? Technically, why does it bother you? Five percent. Wait, wait, we've done twenty episodes, right? Two. Okay, so yeah. So ten percent of the episodes of this podcast have been about stomping shit down a drain. Do you not <laughs> think that that is weird? Ten percent of you're all. You're in episodes? the shower. Your foot's gonna get clean anyway. Actually, so it's after more, you do it's that, more you than ten percent. We're not even on twenty yet, and it's happened twice. It's weird that we needed to circle back onto this and talk about it ever again, right? You'd think that the first time you talked about waffle because... stomping, you would have discussed everything there is to say about pushing hey. your shit down a drain, and yet there's still magic to be found. Hey, man. There's a lot to say. It's man, yeah. because if you're yeah, you ever heard of scafism? Uh oh. Yes, I have. I know. Yeah, I've read the Wikipedia page. Would on you, it. I forget what scapism is all oh, about. Can uh, you explain escapism, it to me? Escapism, like reading a good book. No, no. Like reading a good no. book or, or watching no. a good Charlie's movie. just going to spend this whole podcast just trying if I'm to not sprint mistaken, away from all the topics we bring up. <laughs> what is scapism again? If I'm not mistaken, isn't it uh, the the sexual desire for feces? No, no, oh, no! Is absolutely it not? Absolutely not! What the oh, hell shit. are you talking about? What are you talking about? That's now? when you feed. That's when you feed someone who you'd like to die a bunch of milk and honey. Oh yeah, and then they yep send uh-huh. them off yeah. into a still body of water on a canoe or kayak the, in the boat, and then they let the the bees and the, the yeah, insects yeah yeah come yeah and, yeah yeah mm, mm, and, and you, rats. And you probably get pretty dirty after doing that job, so it's just a great time to come on home, get in the shower, set it to hot. Oh God, that is a drain right mm. there, and I know what would fit down it. A, <laughs> a big ass shit. Well, right here's down the thing the about the here's the whole thing about the waffle stomping general sort of modernist or postmodernist waffle stomping theory. It's postmodern. Is, um, it's more so or less so about the fact that it can fit, 
and more so the determination to get it to fit. Um, which yeah, it's, I guess that's I can, what sort you know, of brings in the stomping in aspect. It doesn't matter how big it is. The, if you just do enough stomping, it will disappear. <laughs> and then it's, it's like a and magic then it, trick. And then it's not your problem anymore. And truly, see, I'm in the shower with my girlfriend, and I say, "Do you want to see a magic trick? Watch this." <laughs> and then I drop a huge oh, shit, man. and then I stomp it down the drain. She goes, "Where did it go?" And I, mm, I say, "A magician never reveals his tricks, baby." <laughs> So suave, yeah. it's so suave. Oh, she loves it. She like loves that. it. Wow, like people, you 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 call the whole neighborhood together for this. It sounds yeah. Like oh, I've I've had multiple neighbors in the shower with me. Screenings. And yeah, a, a screening of uh, a test run. A test run. I feel Say, like Alex, I, yeah, I you got to like get over here. Charlie, Come what was? Shower with me real quick. <laughs> I feel like I feel like we've run out. We've run out. All right, the questions. What were the questions? Hey, no, listen, how guys, would you, you introduce just, a neighbor to uh, just to really some waffle know stomping? When you guys are done. I'll be right here. Do you I'll say like, "Hey, Joe, I <laughs> I got something really sick to show you"? <laughs> to show you, I got something you're, you're, you're really gonna blow your mind, this. Joe. Say, Joe, remember last week when you knocked on my door and you needed to borrow my drill and I gave it to you? Yeah. Well, and you said you owed me one. Well. I got, <laughs> Time I got to a pay figure up, for you now. And he comes inside, and then I'm, I say, you know what? You know, it's, it's, a, it's a hot day. What do you say we take a shower? And then we go get in the shower. Uh, no so questions So you do it asked, in a cold then, shower? Uh, no, if it's a hot day, you can still take a hot shower. Hey, Joe, we're having a barbecue uh, Sunday. Jennifer uh, and, and Laurie, are, are all, they're all going to be there, everyone in the neighborhood. Uh, except the barbecue <laughs> is actually me stomping down my shit in the shower. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, you That's can smell the it from miles after away. Party. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. I'll bring my neighbors in one by one at the barbecue, and then like I'll come outside soaking wet and be like, "All right, Joe's done." <laughs> hey, Nate, come here, come here, and just one by one. <laughs> that's before one we. Down. That's before we serve just the food too. Infinite. You just have a really large capacity to just continue. Get, oh, dude, having shit come out of you. Well, I prepare for it, man. Oh, like I'll, I'll eat, I'll eat a bunch like a of stuff the day pile. before. A little bit of chicken. And I won't let the whole shit say. out. I won't let. Yeah, I won't let the whole shit out when I. I'll let a little bit out for each person. You oh, know, you gotta you're be, doing the pinching. Yeah, you're pinching yeah, exactly. hard. Wow. Mm -hmm. you they must love have it though. Like, you must have like a knifey butthole then to be able to do that. Dude, that's disgusting, man. That's just why would you Don't talk about that. that kind of shit? You got a real guillotine that. of an ass, man. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. Man. Charlie, of all times that you <laughs> would of double down, time. why was it then? <laughs> I knew we were never gonna get to these questions. You, 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 you I would love to shit down you, a drain. It's you never couldn't changed. you could <laughs> you couldn't you couldn't handle the waffle stomping, but Listen, then oh man, okay, it's, guillotine it's of tough, an asshole. It's that's a tough good. Dichotomy, okay. I try to be the guy that weighs in at times, bring a little levity to it, and it's it's a it's just a tough split when we're talking about <laughs> waffle stomping. I still want to be more like there a tough shit in the shower. That's awesome, dude. That's such a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to let this go. I want it to be like an hour from now, and we're still on this subject. Charlie, you can you can do the next topic. You guys sure you got it all out of your But I shit. Bottom line, I, I shit in the shower by accident, about. and then I continued because it was it was already. I already did it a little bit, so I just did the rest. I That's want the, the I want the bowels to be positively clear before I move on to the next topic. I think I'm clear. I'm good. I'm, I'm good. good. No, sure? I, I shit in the shower sure? right before this. I'm good. I feel good. I feel right. supple. Okay, everyone. And warm. I'm going to go on to the mm. second mm. question. Yeah. Would you consider a block of cheese to be a loaf of milk? No. Well, really, it's uh, all the same no. coming out, isn't it? No, I wouldn't <laughs> say that's a loaf of milk. Because I would say a loaf of milk would be more just like curdled milk that's kind of solidified into a like mass. Just like a frozen. Cheese is, yeah. yeah, yeah. Cheese is just like a whole different category i agree you know? i don't think milk and cheese are really the same thing right i mean they're dairy but no they're made from the same essential components but you know, that doesn't mean was discovered that because it was discovered because they used to drink uh out of out of like uh the stomachs of of like sheep uh and and you know because it's, it's like a container and they're like oh we don't have tupperware yet so let's use this uh, <laughs> they thought to someone, themselves oh yes <laughs> tupperware the thing that we plan to invent but just haven't gotten around to it yet nope. In like six thousand years, we'll do that. But for now, I'll just put I'll, I'll I'll squirt a cow's milk straight into this 
sheep's stomach, and uh, the the stomach bile from the sheep and the heat created cheese, and that's where the first cheese came from. Tupperware Wait, never do so that. are you trying to tell me that they would they would use sheep stomachs as like water bottles without first cleaning out the sheep? Stomach bile? Yeah, that's what that's what it sounds like. I might be totally wrong on this, but I heard this years ago, and I don't remember where I heard it, but it, it sounds like one of those facts. Where you're like, I oh, got wow, a, yeah, a listen. I got to look it up just in case, because I I gotta say, like, I totally buy it. But um... do you guys ever think about the first person who discovered yeah. milk? <laughs> I do all the time. Yeah. Because the only thing oh. that I really think of, I I feel like I just kind of think of a Matt, it checks out, man. Checks out. He, you, mm -hmm. It's a farmer. He sees a cow, and he's like. Hey man, why not? He goes. He goes. Hey, what if? <laughs> you know that there's just someone was watching like a calf, you know, drink milk and it's dripping down. He's like, God damn, I kind of want some of that. What does that taste Look like? And he got down and that I'm calf fucking... is eating good though. Bessie, mm -hmm. I'm oh, yeah. fucking thirsty. Guys. And then you just see them aggressively throw the calf to the side and just start ah. going ham on that Woo! udder, dude. All right. So the oh. third question is going to be uh, if you could choose. Well, hold on, Charlie. Wait, it's true. What, what yeah. I said was true. I just looked it up. Cheese may have been discovered accidentally by the practice yeah, of storing yeah. milk in containers made from the stomachs of animals. I will say there's the may. I looked up milk as well. I don't feel like anyone you know, truly knows this. It's a lot of... Uh, a lot of hypothesis here. I think, honestly, I think I think we're we're pretty close. I think someone just fucking tried it one day. Well, I think yeah. milk was, the, you know, they discovered it because humans were like, oh, that comes out of the woman's breast, but it looks like it's also coming out of the cow's breast, so maybe it's maybe, just as good. Maybe, maybe he ha there was some farmer that unless. had some sort of very advanced baby, like, you know how there's those people that have that fetish where they want to be a baby? Mm -hmm. And then they, they but they're also a farmer one. at the same time. And they see a cow, and he's suckling, and he says, oh, this is a baby role-play opportunity for me. Yeah, man, back goes, then they were big into that. sucking away, and then he says, hey, wait, this could change everything for everyone. I'm never going to drink a single glass of 2% again without thinking this came from baby No, milk is, is, I don't drink a lot of dairy because when I drink milk, it, it makes me break out. And acne, so I, I I don't consume a lot of dairy. Really? Yeah, I don't know. Like I don't really get acne, but every time I have like I've heard dairy, people like get that. like when I have a bowl of cereal yeah. and I and I suck that shit down, um, or when I just have a glass of milk with like some cookies, uh, within the next few days I break out. And actually, right now I have a, a, a like a like a a spot on my face from last week from when I drank milk and then oh, really? broke out on my face. Yeah. You've got some pretty chocolate. clear skin yeah. though, Matt. So that's got to be Thank quite you. the quite the anomaly for you breaking out. Oh, it was it was awful. I was suicidal. They had to put me on suicide watch. It was pretty bad. <laughs> God, I don't believe I don't believe that one pimple. So well, are you are you downplaying my struggle and my my mental <laughs> No. So, I mean, uh, yeah, if you like, had to so. choose, uh, would you rather never have to sleep, never have to breathe air, or never have to eat? And Matt, um, you can't choose all three. Um, what if I never if had to would, live? There it is. That would suck, dude. Be like if that I, uh, one of those things from that one character from Soul. Did you guys see the movie Soul? Yeah, I did. It was very good. It was really good. They were just a... Uh, fucking soul that was just not wanting to live at all it was like fuck that shit just no fucking for the reason. whole movie uh as somebody with narcolepsy uh i would like to not ever have to sleep because sleeping is 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 a plague for oh, me oh wait can and we i would like to be that? able to get the narcolepsy is, yeah. if you're, are you comfortable with talking about that <laughs> no yeah, <laughs> it's not like it's not like a touchy subject. What's like, it dude, like? dude, don't I don't bring know. that I mean, up, dude. Don't bring that up. I mean, yeah, but uh, it's not tell us it's about not it. pretty epic. It's uh, it's it's kind of like uh, there's a misconception. People think that narcolepsy like is a Looney Tunes style, like Peter Griffin and just, like, falling fall on the ground, yeah. like when he yeah. the, the the Family Guy style immediately just face planting. Yeah, ain't like like one frame I'm standing, and the next <laughs> frame I'm on the ground asleep. Uh, it's not like that, because um, there's two types of narcolepsy. There's like catatonic, and then there's, or or uh, some. I don't remember the what they're called, but right. <laughs> I have the type where I don't. It's not like where my muscles all shut down. I have the type where like throughout the day, 
multiple times, I'll hit, I'll have like a sleep attack where all of a sudden, like just within 30 seconds, I become so sleepy. It feels like I just, you know, when you get up in like 3 a.m. to go take a piss or a shit in the shower and you're like just so out of it and so tired. Uh, yeah, and you're barely like awake, but you are awake. It, it, it I become that very quickly. Can barely even uh, get a sleep in. And if I can fight it off, and I have medicine for it, uh, that does a pretty good job. Um, that I take like on on work days and stuff. But uh, yeah, it's not super fun. I had I, I was just so tired, and I couldn't you know figure out why. And I I tried everything to not hmm. take like four naps a day. And I'm like, why? I I got like ten hours of sleep last night drinking water, taking vitamins, I'm exercising, like, what's going on? Uh, and I had to get a sleep test where they had to hook me up to, like, a million wires. There's a picture of it online. Uh, and, like, belts around my chest to measure my breathing and, like, nodes on my forehead to scan my brain oh my waves yeah. and shit. Uh, and they were like, yeah, you got narcolepsy. Weird. So, okay. so how many? Oh, when so you go to sleep normally during the night, is it easy to fall asleep? or No. So I have insomnia oh, too, so which is I, so I have insomnia and narcolepsy, which is ironic. That's a, that is incredibly ironic. I wake up probably six to ten times a night, every single oh night. My God. Wow, you just can't catch a break with sleep. Literally. No, it sucks, man. It sucks. So uh, but you... I don't want to get on. I don't want to get on sleeping medication. Uh, like, uh, um, what's 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 the popular one? Melatonin. A, 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 Ambien. Melatonin. Ambien. Like like Roseanne, oh, this she is took like, some Ambien and is this, a, is this no. above the counter thing you're talking about? Yeah, she took some Ambien and she tweeted all that racist shit. So I'm scared that might Ooh. happen to me. So I don't want to take Roseanne. Who's Roseanne? Who are we talking about? That's the Who's lady Roseanne? from the the show Roseanne. The big fat bitch. The the yeah. beautiful. I mean the beautiful yeah. woman. The pog. She, uh, it's a. Yeah, she's a, <laughs> she is a pog. Uh, but yeah, she. And, and I don't want to take uh, any of those drugs that make it like. I that could become addicted to. Oh, her, Roseanne yeah. Barr. Yeah. I uh, yes. I, I don't, don't want to get woman. dependent yes. on those though. So I gotta ask. Oh. I mean, when when you uh, go under with a sleep attack, is it very very brief, or is it? Uh, you mentioned taking naps before to, to kind of stave it off. Is it for a while? It's like uh, for me, maybe it can last from a couple minutes to like forty five minutes to an hour, maybe. Um, that's pretty that's scary if you were like driving or something. Yeah, no, there's times I've had to pull over and take a nap. <laughs> uh, I was driving to San Diego uh, mm-hmm. a couple months ago and it hit me so hard. I had to just pull off into like a Target parking lot and I just took like a 45 minute nap. And Have you ever had to pull over like then... directly onto the highway? Uh, once, yeah. Damn. I, didn't, I didn't end up taking a nap. I just shut my eyes for like five minutes, but yeah. uh, you know. It, it sucks, uh, and they don't know why it happens, and there's no cure. Um, to just general narcolepsy? Mm-hmm. Whoa. Yeah. Let me yeah see I had Google no idea they didn't me. know why it happened. They, who doesn't know? Let me, let me see if Google knows. Why narcolepsy? One of the side effects of nar- narcolepsy is you're more prone to take a shit in the shower. It just happens. Yeah, and then and, stomp um, on it. Then you just... You just, <laughs> and just a, a, un relenting need Honestly, to just after, stomp. after the shit after the shit it's like it just it just does itself it like it's like it stomps itself down the drain you know what i mean pretty much you, yeah you and i don't really know remember this, it you probably know this matt but it says google's telling me that many cases of narcolepsy are thought to be caused by lack of a brain chemical called hypocretin also known as orexin which I think, regulates i think sleep. matt's a little bit of a hypercretin Dude, shut the... F- dude. Dude. You, Come Charlie, on, man. You fucking... Bla- dude, that was so good. Holy no, shit. It, no, it wasn't, Thanks, dude. That was top, really... Dude. Dab me up. Dab me up. Feeling good about do that. You get oh, the, um, do you get the chess from it? Cataplexy. That's what it's called. Not catatonic. Cataplexy. Cata- do, I get cataplexy the, do I get the what? Well, it says that there's five the main symptoms of narcolepsy. It sounds like you only have one, which is the cataplexy but then there's also hallucinations excessive daytime yeah. sleepiness. okay you okay get the, that one. the the hallucinations and the excessive daytime sleepiness the hallucina- oh, uh, speaking of the hallucinations, hallucinations are weird yeah it's but, like uh i just like uh some uh frequently like the world will turn into a van gogh painting well, and it's right. uh not very fun oh interesting they're like, oh god, he's a little bit crazy. No, it's it's right when I'm waking up or right when I'm going to sleep is when I. I happens. thought that was so part like, of something else that you told me. Is that something you're comfortable talking with on the podcast? 
Yeah. Well, I mean that that makes that doesn't help. But yeah, I'm, I can talk about that. Yeah. It um, sucks. Yeah. What was what was this? It, it was it was something. It was a, a drug you had taken, right? That that HPPD. Had... It's it's uh, hallucinate hallucinogen persisting perception disorder. Uh, right. And that that shit also sucks because my vision is twenty four seven, like ten to fifteen percent an acid trip. And you got that because you did acid. I got that because I I used psychedelics too frequently at one point in my life. Yeah. Right. I have not done psychedelics in a very long time, but uh, I I had a phase where I was like, "No, oh, man, I'm opening my mind," and then uh, <laughs> yeah. I fucked up my vision. Opened yeah. it a little too hard. What yeah. originally What originally like got you into like the idea of like doing psychedelics? Because I'm, I'm I personally have never never done one before but it's like i feel i feel like the general consensus on it is like sort of all over the place where it's like it's gen, it seems generally positive but then at the same time it's also like don't do them you, you can only seems do like them like very once bad, every like very two fast. weeks yeah no you'll fry your it messes brain with you your whole brain chemistry right yeah yeah uh, yeah um and i i already had like a lot of like floaters in my eyesight before that yeah um and stuff but now basically i have a lot of like what I have is like a lot of static, like TV static kind of stuff. So when I look at the sky, it's very like TV static and a lot of like color, like blobs that kind of uh, wow. move around in sparkles. And then mm. when I look at something, uh, there's like a negative afterglow of of the. So if I look at like a horizon, uh, there will be like a like a like a glow around it um, that's like the same shape. Um, you can look up pictures online of what this looks like yeah. if you search HPPD, right. and it it uh it's it's pretty accurate. Uh, I don't have it like it yeah it's kind of intense, but it's not like it doesn't super interfere with my life. Uh, right, and because I also have that the narcolepsy, I get really bad hallucinations like for the first minute that I'm waking up. So right when I wake up, right when I open my eyes, I look at the ceiling and it's like and, and all crazy and shit. Did and it you goes get away. Diagnosed with narcolepsy before or after this, you got this other thing. After, because I, I did. Do you I think did. Maybe it may have. I did the psychedelics. Like, been... It was like three years ago. Oh, okay. Do you think that the narcolepsy could have been a result of that? No, no, because this is this has always been a thing for me. Oh, okay, yeah, gotcha. But the hallucination stuff, uh, like the HPPD, um, a lot of people that like have used psychedelics recreationally frequently uh have it and there's no cure or anything for it so it, it's it does H-P-P-V? suck hppv hppd mm-hmm. hppd yeah oh. um a lot like visual snow and visual so snow it's not it's, and stuff. it's not the most fun but it uh it is what it is don't don't do drugs kids yeah that's really <laughs> what it comes down to huh unless wow. someone offers you them for free because they're very expensive Except not that part either. Persisting <laughs> perception disorder. Wow. Well, I mean, here's a here's a question I have, and this could be perceived as potentially insensitive. But when you said something about the horizon, if you were are watching a sunset now, would you say the sun? Like, does it look like? What does the sunset look like for you? Does it look cool? No, I mean, it's it's not term? it's not like I look at it and it's like. I'm tripping balls. It's like I look at it, and the the line of the horizon and the sun will be uh, doubled in the sense of like there's a negative uh, like replication of it, like off center from it. Oh, so it's kind of like double vision, except just like in like as an eye floater. Yeah, and then and then eye floaters are like way heavier than before, and then if I. I, I see an after image if I shut my eyes of, of things um, oh, that will like wow. stay. So, so like a lot of stuff I'll look at and then look away and I'll still see like the the light from it for like a couple seconds before it fades away. Dude, I did oh. not know what eye floaters were when I was a kid and I thought I was haunted by aliens. Shit sucks. <laughs> I, I just I think psychedelics are really cool and I think that they should be recreationally legalized. But I do think that. Uh, I think that if you're going to do psychedelics, do a lot of research. Don't do them if you are in a uh, bad mental state um, and get them, like source them from a responsible source 
and don't uh, overdo it. Yeah, I have never... The only times that I have ever seen or interacted with people doing like psychedelics and stuff like that, it always comes in like a more sketchy way than like any other drug that I've seen. Like, yeah, it always comes in like the last time I saw so they were some of my uh, old old roommates were were at some point in my life at some point. I don't I, I don't know if they whatever. Um they they had like the tab things of i don't know mm-hmm. what that is the LSD, lsd maybe but it was like wrapped up in fucking like tin foil or something like that and when something's yeah. like wrapped up like that in tin foil it's like what is yeah. in there like that's well, like it's cuz you don't want to touch it cuz if you touch it you can absorb it through your fingers oh uh, it's a little piece of paper that has a drop of lsd like just a single drop it. that's all it mm-hmm. that's all you need wow yep that's insane and they make this yeah. shit in labs. Yeah, and it's like I think that it's a it's a really interesting thing, uh, but I, I don't think people should do it if they have not done the research on how to do it safely, right? And also yeah. what effects it can have on you while and after. <clears throat> yeah, anything yeah. that really fucks with with chemicals in the brain, I think there's a lot of ways for it to uh, to go to go south pretty quickly. Um, yeah, I wish I hadn't done it uh, so much. This was all like three years ago, and I wish that I had not frequented uh, right. LSD. But I will say the the therapeutic effects of it on my anxiety and OCD and stuff was really good. And I and I think it should be legalized for like therapy. And I think there's like a lot of promising research on yeah uh, a lot of drugs like that with therapeutic stuff. Yeah, do you I've think that, seen the same argument for a lot? Do you of think people. like uh, a hallucinogen would would um, sort of enhance the waffle stomping experience oh, oh yeah because God. when I, when i stomp on it you know and i look down at the sure. shit i would see a lot of like fractals within the shit uh that would be uh you oh, know expanding and the shit would the shit wouldn't just be brown it would be oh, a whole spectrum of colors that i've never even seen before uh and that's pretty cool and also cool. i would start thinking about it like i'm not i'm stomping waste that my body created from this ecosystem shit. that exactly yeah it's all a cycle exactly oh, it wow. is a cycle yeah wow because that shit that shit's gonna go down the drain and then it's gonna be in the sewers and then that stuff gets filtered out to be drinking water eventually right and then i drink that water so it's a cycle everything's a cycle wow that's incredible just like well, how we somehow either keep, way keep t- coming back to Either way, Charlie, to answer your question, I'd probably never uh, have to breathe air. Why? Why yeah. wouldn't you just not want to sleep? You get you get a third of your life back. You get so much shit done if you didn't have to you sleep. You never had to breathe air, though. I guess you could, like, dive in a pool for a long time. I don't know. I really like awesome. sleep. And not having to breathe air, it's like... I could be like a really cool spec op soldier. Just kidding. I don't. I don't know. I mean, that's a good point, Schlatt. <laughs> I could commit war crimes better. Yeah, I could. I could. I could. I could go underwater and 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 shoot people. <laughs> they could you never. Could I could. I could go smack yep. someone in the face and dive underwater, and they'd never find me because I'd live underwater. I would be um, able to carry out and the will of the my bath. imperialist leaders <laughs> more effectively. <laughs> I would never have to eat. For the Knights of the Conservatarios. Eating is so um, good, though. Eating, eating eat, like, no, see, like see that's just... the thing. I would still eat, right? My thing uh, is that if I don't eat for, like, an hour, I get pissed off and I suck. If I don't eat for two hours, I start to, like, Basically, I start to like. Snickers, you wouldn't man. eat. I would choose to never have to eat because for me, you're not you really, when you're hungry. You're, I'm not me when I'm hungry. Exactly, but the problem is I'm hungry so often that Matt, mm-hmm. I don't know when I'm yeah. me. Oh shit! So well, no, I'm, I'm that... serious. It's a thing where like, I don't know what the fuck it is. I could straight up like I could eat goddamn four thousand calories in the morning. An hour later, I will be hungry, and t- like three. Hours, I have the exact opposite. Three hours. I'll go later, days where I, I only I will, have like, like feel like I'm passing out. Like it's it's uh, it's bad. That's like my thing. Yeah, I I I I can go whole days where I only consume like two hundred calories and I just don't get hungry. No, I will be unable I to do an, anything. It it's it sucks. 
I had an issue with that the uh, the other day, actually, where have you ever had a thing happen to you, Charlie, where if you don't eat and then you do some sort of intense physical activity, then you like feel like you're going to pass out? I know. Yeah, so it, that happens like to me white. very intensely, um, like and it happens to me without even without physical activity after enough time. Like when I was again, uh, I, you know, I was on a swim team. It was pretty competitive and I hadn't eaten breakfast. And I learned that I needed to do that because I like basically fainted in the in the pool and like needed to go oh eat God. a granola bar. And after that, I I was totally fine. But like, yeah, it's really weird. Like, you know, it's Your like body's a machine, man. It, you get, I guess you, you you get out what you put in. I guess this happened to me very very recently, as in like literally this last weekend, because I was uh, I was helping out uh, Jacob with. A video. Should I? Should I even? Should I say what it was about? You think, or should I just save it until it's like a surprise? Keep for it vague. Save it vague. Save it. Yeah. Keep it vague. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. we we had to do Dude, a Jacob's lot of physical activity, um, really intense physical activity. As a and as a big man, I was. I don't know when you when you get put into like a physical challenge like that. I'm just the kind of person that just like fucking for some reason even though i don't work out i'll go hard in that situation in that situation and then i'll just get myself way too tired nice. so i ended up in a situation where i was like it's completely exhausted and i felt like i was simultaneously going to pass out and throw up and it was miserable yeah oh man God. if, yeah, if you, you don't eat you in the morning mm-hmm. yeah like like if i if i frequently i wake up and the first thing i have is coffee which kills my appetite and then i don't eat until like lunch and then i just feel like shit yeah, I feel hollow and angry. I feel like I'm getting stomped down a drain. Yeah, but it's kind of the same thing. It's like uh, instead of smoothly sliding down, I'm getting stomped through a waffle-shaped <laughs> grate. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I guess I guess I would say because I feel like eating is my biggest barrier. Like I'll sit down to do something and just immediately get hungry five minutes later and know that I have to eat then because if I don't, I will be unable to work and I'll just get angry and then I will like eventually just. Right. What if you just didn't get angry? I, I've tried. Yeah. And you know what? That's a good point. I get angry. Hmm. We'll just wow. that's why That's that. why I'll come Charlie. on the Chuckle Sandwich podcast in like three minutes before we record. I'm like, guys, let me grab a snack real quick because I feel that, like I have coming on. That. I feel myself greening. When you started mm. thinking <laughs> like the fucking Hulk. When, mm-hmm. when you were talking about that, your, your hunger thing, I was thinking back to like all the times that before we record the podcast, yeah. you're yeah. like, me need eat me need food yum 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 yeah. yum 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 i mean it's maybe even i i'm sure you know it would be totally rude if you were to eat on the podcast and we know that you're not known for doing oh no that, that would be I mean, that would be abysmal. i wouldn't be surprised you know. if you People were like to that. be eating on that'd the be podcast. disrespectful it would be disrespectful yeah. i i think that to me as a guest that would be only, really disrespectful the only exception well, that could even be made is you know if you were trying to maybe spread some some message of, of healthier eating, you know, trying something new. No, no. But even then, even then. What would that even be? Healthy. <laughs> Give me a break. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm eating, eating this burger uh, to, to sh- on, on this podcast, uh, and you'll hear me chew. Uh, you you want to hear? It's to promote healthy eating. You want to hear one of the best non-healthy eating places that I could recommend? Sure. Schlatt? We can well, we say no now. Oh. Take it away, Is Schlatt. it Schlatburger? Schlatt, no, Schlatt knows the place. So recently, me and Ted went to a very, uh, very nice restaurant in Los Angeles called. Bullis. Oh no, I'm not talking about oh, that. Oh my god. Called what? What are you? T- what are you talking about? I'm talking about Fat Sal's boy. Oh, dude, Fat Sal's. Oh, that's my like late night. <laughs> you sound so disappointed. It wasn't even good. About, it wasn't good. You want to talk about the other thing? No, no, no. I don't want to. <laughs> Talk about, I feel dumb. Well, so, so Schlatt, why did you not like Fat Cells, man? I don't know what the hell Fat Cells is. I just didn't I like, know. I thought it was okay. Um, gonna look at yeah, their- I mean, the sandwich we had was generally okay. There's other sandwiches there that are, that are I feel like, personally, I feel like are a lot better. But what I Schlatt just get the Philly cheesesteak. Yeah, what Schlatt and I got was the big, or was the fat hot chick. Bruh. The we pod, ate the fat bro. hot chick. Roseanne. Which is like it. It's, <laughs> which is like uh, it's like a Nashville hot chicken sandwich, except that it's like fat salad. Oh what my fat god, is, is these like, are insane! I'm looking at the menu. Oh, oh yeah, dude, no. you can put like chicken tenders, yeah, they, French fries. They put mozzarella sticks in like yeah, half the sandwiches. So the, it's so yeah, good. the one that you're talking about right now, I don't know if it's on. Oh yeah, it is. Nashville hot chicken mac and cheese bites, jalapeno coleslaw, pickles, flaming hot Cheetos, and fat sauce. Christ. They, they, 
pile it on there. Yeah, Dude, that's why I, I just get the the Philly cheese. That is that is itself. comically bad for you. I will say that it's <laughs> you know how they say everything's based on a two thousand calorie diet. The, one of those sandwiches is the two thousand calorie diet. Oh yeah, that's all. That's of very it. American. Like it's yeah. like like if if I had someone foreign coming to stay with me and I was like, let me show you America. I'd order fat sows. I'd be like, you're gonna have mozzarella sticks. I've ordered fat sauce more times than I'm comfortable. I would need to pray sound. after I ate one of these. You don't feel good after fat sauce. <laughs> no, I can't oh, imagine you, don't feel you good. would. You don't feel good. I didn't. Well, honestly, at, we had just finished. Sutton and I had just finished a video recording. And given how infrequently I record videos, I think maybe I was living off that high of having completed something. I get that. But um, I get that. Reward. Hey, reward yourself, bro. Schlatt, You finished your whole sandwich. You you finished it before me. You like? I did. I it, did man. eat the whole sandwich, but I was very sad whilst eating it. Really? <laughs> yeah. And it's also terrible for you. But you know what? You didn't yeah. stop. You didn't. My stop. body was crying. And I ignored its calls. It's it please. was pretty spicy. It was. It had a good kick to it. Yeah. Was it? Um, yeah. Hey Matt, you then, know the Vatican sent a lot of children um, to go fight for them, and they were all sold into slavery. Ah, oh, the Crusades. Yes. Yeah, the Children's Crusade. Did you, did made, you know about that? What made you think of the Crusades? It's just been on my mind the recently. Crusades. They had a Children's Crusade. Well, Fat Sal's is, is very, they want to educate people on the Children's Crusade. Yeah, I got so a with pamphlet. With every sandwich, about they it. put a pamphlet in, I got a in, pamphlet. The, in the order. Yeah, I got a pamphlet. Yeah. That's crazy. Why would they? Yeah, no, that was. That this was has insane. been on my mind for a while. I kept yeah. the pamphlet oh, after the meal. Back then, the, the, the priests would torture people in like a dungeon. Yeah, I hear priests still do that. Yeah, oh, yeah, they do. Yeah. It's a they little haven't bit really from, fixed, like, the, fixed those guys. No, they haven't really uh, done too much uh, to no. fix those problems. I think it would but, be uh, really cool if um, we brought back Machiavelli. Who? <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be really cool if we brought back Machiavelli. I know that name, but I don't remember who that is. He did like you the, ever know? Uh, you ever seen someone do wait, something the, the really musician? shitty to someone? Like, really mean, like, torture and shit like that. Scapism. I've seen some torture IRL, and yeah. And they and they say, uh, oh, that's quite Machiavellian, you know? Nicolo Machiavelli. He was an Italian diplomat, philosopher, politician, yeah, we were, writer we were, who lived we were during tight. the Renaissance. We were tight. Oh, I, I know my oh, Italian diplomats. Oh, wait, yeah, that was yeah. in the pamphlet, too. That was Fat Sal <laughs> told me about that. <laughs> yeah, Fat Sal. They have the Machia Machiavellian <laughs> sandwich. Fat Sal's. We fat do it Machiavellian style. They, they <laughs> issued a lot of warnings. Yeah, honestly, job. if you were looking at Postmates, Schlatt, they were there was you totally missed out on the Machiavelli sauce that they have. Really? Wow. Yeah. It's, it's, oh it's yeah, yeah, good, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's got a good kick to it, and it I also did has. See, I did actually see the kick is the, the arsenic. There, there was a sandwich under the, uh, under one of the one of the meat sections that's that was called like Protestants are going to hell or something <laughs> like that. Yeah. Or, yeah. Like eternal yeah. damnation for all <laughs> Calvinists. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, I I did kind of wonder what what that was all about, but you know, yeah. at the end of the day, I was like, I'm hungry. Maybe I'm just seeing things. Right. Maybe I I've got like H, maybe I've got beef. HPPD, whatever the fuck, and I'm seeing HPV. some visual snow. You know. Yeah. You know, and and when I look at a fat sow sandwich, uh, and I yeah. see the negative after image and the the TV static and the floaters, it just makes it all the more appealing to me. Yeah. Have you ever seen God? Yeah. You have. I've talked to him many times. Did he say anything to you? Uh, well, did he say what his favorite fat salad sandwich was? God, sometimes the cadence of way, the way that you say things, that is just so funny. Uh, did he say anything to you? <laughs> Dude, well, why are you making fun of my friend Schlatt like that? I'm, yeah, come on, Ted. What the hell is wrong no, with you? No, you can't just switch up on me like that. You were uh, totally on, with it. Matt Usually... changed my mind. You've been treating me unfairly, and you continue to, to this right, very yeah. day. Yeah. And I'm Dude, crying. When you, were, when you were at my house this weekend, Ted, all you could, I couldn't keep your mouth shut about Schlatt. You just kept saying, this guy's an asshole. This guy shits in the shower. He's a piece of shit. And he, you know, if he, if, if he was shit in my shower, stomp I'd stomp down. him down the he drain. He doesn't even have the... The, he doesn't even have the gall to stomp it down. The courtesy. Or the, or the suave. <laughs> you know, yeah. you got to have the courtesy, yeah. like, in a, in a public shower to at least do that. It's all right, man. I, listen, man. 
He's projecting, okay? It's 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 because he wishes he could shit in the shower like you do, and he wishes he was. No one can shit in the shower as good as I can. <laughs> no, man, we know, we know. Matt, what's your uh, what's your, what's your sign? Yeah, what's your sign? Aquarius. Wow, I dude. could tell. Dude, fuck off, man. Dude. What the fuck, dude? We've been doing a podcast with an Aquarius, dude. Charlie, Nobody what the fuck? Nobody told me that this Shut was an Aquarius the fuck podcast. Up, man. What is that Wait. a water oh. sign? Is yeah. that a water sign? Why don't you splish splash out Let's of here? My dad used to call me Aquarius, so. Oh wow. <laughs> Yeah. That's r- like that's a, that's such flat. a Capricorn thing to do. He's a, he's a Sagittarius, so. Ooh, yo. Oh, yo. Oh, he would be. Oh, he I would get be. it. I get mm-hmm. it now. You want to you want to hear uh you want to hear your uh, horoscope.com. Did you uh, know we have 99% intimacy compatibility, Matt? Well, Matt, yeah, I can I redo your up. horoscope for today? Please. Um okay, May 24th, 2021. Today you might face a task that seems as workable as emptying the ocean with a teacup. Hmm. But with or, help from others, you will not only be able to handle it, but also produce exceptional results. This seems like it's all in, resu- in regards to the waffle snobbing, to yeah, be honest no, with you. That's, so that's what Actually, I was thinking, yeah. remarkably yes. apt. Physically, yeah. you're likely to feel full of strength and stamina, ready to move mountains. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mountains of shit. Um, don't be too. <laughs> don't. This you're is ready, the last sentence. I kid you day. not. This is the last sentence. Don't be too surprised if you actually manage to budge a few. Wow. Budge a few shits. It's That's a crazy. Shits. That's crazy because I looked at at the horoscope for Virgo, which is my sign, and it and it said your next shower will be interrupted <laughs> by a large, mildly poisonous insect. <laughs> <laughs> What? It's fucking not, weird. No, it I don't, doesn't. I don't what? know why it, it say that. I don't know, I know but what insect that. are you thinking of when you say mildly <laughs> poisonous know. insect? I, I don't make these fucking things. There's it's spiders that are mildly like poisonous. I didn't you make want, this. I want to be on this site that you're on right this. now. This sounds like a great site. <laughs> Are you slightly allergic to bees or something? No, like what, I didn't, what mildly I poisonous insect? Bees are mildly poisonous. I don't, I don't understand poisonous. why it said that. That is too specific to be an actual to horoscope site. Send me what site this is. I want to see mine. <laughs> Schlatt, on uh, horoscope.com, you've got a three-star sex rating, but a two-star hustle rating. Oh, wow. Ooh. Oh, wow. Hey, that's vibe. why you don't have more subscribers, dumbass. Your vibe? Is a three star and your success is a two star. What is but the highest trait of mine? Is it lover? Uh, being gay. <gasps> nice. I'm sorry, dude. That was too far. I'm I'm sorry. Come on, man. Um, oh, yo, dude. Aquarians need a lot of variety in their sex lives. And Aquarians? since they're ruled by Uranus, the planet governing experimentation, they aren't bashful or frightened about trying tantalizing new methods of lovemaking. Yeah. How tantalizing is your love making? Are Aquarius good in bed? <laughs> you should see my cat's face. <laughs> he didn't like that? What face is he making? Oh, it's so dumb looking. Oh. <laughs> um, I, I'm, I'm trying to adopt a kitten right now, and I go all on how stupid their face looks. Matt, you're yeah. vibrating... Mm-hmm. I guess these are daily star ratings, but your vibe is four out of five stars today. Yo! Oh, you didn't have to tell me that, dude. I already knew that. I you know, guys should have picked that saying, up, too. Your vibes are like, damn, they're high hey. right now. Hey. Yeah. No, the vibes are hey, here right now. Back. Charlie, do we have any other topics hey. that we can hit, though? In, in what you read? I don't know, dude. I'm a freaking down. Leo, man. What hey, the heck do I know? Oh. Ooh. I'm a freaking Leo. Slat. Stop. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> I think his I think his his cat Please is attacking Christ. his webkins, but we oh, made fuck, a, dude, that's, we that's sort of serious. made a uh, we sort of made a uh, a decision amongst ourselves, Charlie and I, that whenever Schlatt starts just going off on his own thing, chatting with the fucking ah, cat, we we're just gonna sort of ignore it and just uh, allow guess, it to happen. Can we mute we him in Discord? About... Yeah, you can just turn him down. You can just turn him um, down. Just take him all the way down there. Are waffles 
No, 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 no. That's they're a, not. That's they're a, not that's grilled a plus pancakes. Word we want to avoid. You had that. Um, in they're the, not you grilled had that pancakes. In the list, I did. I'm I did. Sorry. I already talked about it, which of course you wouldn't remember because what were I didn't we answer about it though. Instead? I didn't answer. They're not it. grilled pancakes. Remember, so you talked about it. What with yourself? You fucking asshole? pancakes are already grilled. What? Can you ask me the question, Charlie? Are waffles just grilled pancakes? Yes. No. What? Discuss. No. Discuss. What the hell? What the hell is you that? I kept dude. reading in my horoscope and it said, think twice. Dude. Your bones are slowly Break turning to dust. <laughs> oh, that sucks, dude. Break it right. down. We're already past that. Won't be long that. now. New topic. Right now dude. Said, won't be long now. Um, A windfall of lunch meat. Just <laughs> grilled pancakes? <laughs> Yeah, oh, yeah, fuck. they are. It's the same shit. That's what I'm thinking. It's That's the same right. shit, they're, they're just, a diff- the, just a different day. It's the same batter you use, right? Exactly. Is it? Is it? Is exactly. Yeah. Pancake batter the same? Pussy. Some Aunt Jemima. Bussy. Batter. Dude, it's fuck all the same. Fuck off with Aunt Jemima. Pancake syrup is goddamn bullshit. Dude, are you being racist right now? I'm not being racist. What would Aunt Jemima think? That sounded pretty racist to me. If Aunt Jemima did saying, get removed though because of the historical Aunt Jemima got cancelled dude I love that <laughs> trend I, I love the out, trend go out and buy some real maple syrup grade A baby dark I don't think the, the character Aunt Jemima got cancelled yeah no she's did you hear what she said about Israel <laughs> oh no <laughs> yeah. she say? I heard that's what offensive. happened to the Lando Lakes guy too Woo. guy oh no person yeah what did what did um what did Aunt Jemima say? Does Aunt Jemima believe waffles are pa- grilled pancakes? Wait no, a second. Wait it was, a it was about the second, palate. Charlie, this question doesn't even make any sense. What do you because mean? Because it's stupid. You both you put both waffles and pancakes on. You grill them both. Really. That's what I said. Pancakes are already grilled. They're like you. You put okay. You grill when you, when it, when nobody double dips in a grill just to make a waffle. Like you put the you, they go. They both come in as wet batter. It's like so more what, of a grill situation with the wall. The pancake is more of a. I guess it's more of a fry, right? Is it more? You of have like to a, press no, the waffles. At all. You have to press the waffles. The pressing is what gives them the, their shape. It, without that, it's just a pancake. You the, stomp the, the batter. And it the, pancake the pancake gets poured. The pancake gets poured onto the griddle. Damn, I just ordered McDonald's, but now I want to cancel it and order some waffles because waffles sound fucking order delicious. Order Roscoe's. Do sound really good right Dude, now. Roscoe's chicken and waffles is fucking delicious. And Schlatt, I was looking up our sexual compatibility between Virgo and Aquarius. Yeah. And it says there is in no way an easy sexual relationship. Uh, and unless no. some strong what? support is provided by their natal charts, Virgo and Aquarius will rarely be attracted yeah. to each other. Maybe if your hustle a rating was a little bit higher today, Schlatt. Yeah, yeah my so hustle rating. Yeah, man. I'm not, hustle I'm not hustling tonight. Maybe if you were doing a little <laughs> I didn't watch hustle. enough Gary V videos. What you need to do man. is make a peanut farm in Idaho. Hey, dude, the Jimmy Carter strategy. Whenever I think of success, I think of what would I feel like if I shot my dad in the fucking face? <laughs> And I, and that, I'm just up and moving after that. Let me tell you what's going to be big in five years. Baseball cards. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. I'm going to buy the Jets. Aunt Jemima had it coming. I'm going to buy the Jets. I'm Gary V. He told me Who's that Gary he's going to buy the Jets. I don't know who Gary V is, man. I'm... You don't know who Gary V is? He's a motivator. Did you say successful... Aunt Jemima had it coming? <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> what? I just registered that. What are you talking about, dude? Well, that 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 Aunt Jemima had a an comment. Absolute, that is that is a uh, that is not a Leo thing to say. Hey, real real, real talk though, y'all. You gotta take one to the sack. Miss Buttersworth or Aunt Jemima? Who the goddamn shit is Miss? Well, when I was a kid, when I was a kid, what we used Miss Buttersworth Buttersworth is is that's the one that's shaped like a like a shapely woman. She a little thotty. <laughs> they they are they're both She's they're both fun. they're both hags, dude. Don't use this shit. Don't use this shit. Go out buy some real no, maple syrup. Well, wow. yeah. Okay. All right. We get this it. This is we pancake get it, Mr. syrup. Vermont. It's gross. It's gonna clog your arteries. You're just gonna be a big. You're just are you from Vermont? Be, I am. I, okay. Listen, I'm in Vermont. Oh, it sounds like you're from Vermont. Right he's the now. biggest Vermont YouTuber. Actually, he's the fucking it's Vermont. True. It's true. Really? Chill. 
You know, which is not like wow. a huge, not really a huge accomplishment, I think, in the grand scheme of all the cows we have here. But I will say this. Fuck Aunt Jemima. Fuck Thank Aunt Jemima. Her syrup, her syrup was never anything special. It was never anything it's to write home about. What you need to do is you need to buy natural maple syrup. Oh yeah. Well, In yeah. That's really the conversation that happens. Aunt Jemima wasn't even maple syrup to begin with. The more viscous it's like corn it gets, syrup. the worse it is. Thank and you. Aunt yeah. Jemima yeah. is fucking it's, viscous. It's like a filler. It's like a filler. Yeah, for, it's, it's yeah. bullshit. It's like it's I bullshit. want I want syrup on my pancake, but all I have is Aunt Jemima, and that's all I know. So I'm gonna put some Aunt yeah. Jemima on here and just pretend while it while it sifts oh, around. Yeah gloops up in my mouth that it's real maple It's like syrup. a dystopian gloop. Like, like if you watched, like, 1984, if they Aunt were like, all right, here's your sauce. They would, they would serve 100%. you Aunt Jemima in 1984. I completely 100%. Big, big brother. Agree. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Yep. So, I want waffles now. Hmm. Yeah, that is the, yeah, because when you originally asked the question of Mrs. Butter, Buttersworth versus Aunt Jemima, that's not the general, um, those two aren't at odds with each other, really. They're, they're both sort of relics. The same they're category. both relics of the past. Uh, one of them won. Left. Buttersworth them. is still around. Je Jemima is, is gone now. Yeah. Jemima <laughs> packed her bags and got the fuck out of here. Um, but I, I agree with Schlatt that, you know, there's two types of people. You've got the you've got the people who do the the the, the viscous sauce. It's basically a sauce. Yeah. It is. And then you've got the fucking Straight the, out of the, the asshole thinner, of the tree. The thinner it is, the better. It just tastes so delicious when, I, when you I, when you suck that you shit like right thin? out of the bark. I agree with you, you get some of I'd the rather... fucking pulp in there. That 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 nice woody woody thick, <laughs> thick wood juicy chips? juicy wood chips juicy, sawdust flavoring. Juicy mm. yummy. Ooh yeah, squeeze that right. Some of that some of that even put bridge of the it. nose. Yum yum. You ever seen a pine tree in the woods and the, like you accidentally like you you put your hand on a tree at some point and then you get all that shit on your hand? That's the oh, syrup yeah. I'm talking about. I just take the sap. I just put oh, sap yeah. on my pancakes. To be when honest, when you're carrying you. the Christmas tree in with your father, uh, you get yeah. a little and, on and your shoulder or on your shirt. Yeah, I mean it's like, Fuck oh yeah, man, dude. what's all this sticky shit Straight all over my hands? Source. Oh, what's yeah. the and you can't aunt soap and water doesn't get that off. Struggling in there, man. An ant is still <laughs> right in. Yes, exactly, man. Dude, I actually, I'm going to say something controversial. I like both of them. I like Aunt Jemima shit, like that type of syrup. And yeah. I like uh, al natural syrup. You know, it's like I like the thin, uh, watery, super sweet maple shit. Yeah. Uh, and then when I did a it's show in thin and watery to you because you I, have this. No, I did a show in in Vancouver, and when I was in Canada, I was like, I'm gonna buy, and I bought a big ass thing of maple syrup, and it's delicious. I still use it, but I also if How I'm big offered Aunt Jemima. How long ago were you uh, in Vancouver? Oh, fuck. Uh, two, uh, 2019. Um, you have a, a thing of maple syrup that has lasted you more than two years. It doesn't go bad, dude. I feel that. And you just I been actually feel that. You, you just been carrying it around like how it sounds like you have a tub. I mean, I guess it depends on how much you're actually. No, using it's maple it's syrup. actually <laughs> it's like it's like it's like a little glass maple leaf shaped bottle. Mm, those but are if the I have Aunt Jemima too, yeah. If I have Aunt Jemima, I'm gonna I'm gonna slurp that shit up. I'll squirt some of that straight in my mouth. I'll pop the cap and yeah. Look, I mean, it's not bad. It doesn't right taste verb. bad. It's just right really verb. sugary. It's it really sugary. I can eat it. It's just corn syrup. <laughs> I just prefer like the all natural. artificial flavoring. I, I prefer the what it would be like to have a syrup that has the viscousness of the Aunt Jemima, but with the Ooh. flavor quality of the of the natural maple. You want to make yeah. maple that's a million thicker? dollar idea. You want to make maple perfect. syrup thicker? Mm. Is that what you're saying? Right? Daddy's okay. little girl so. knows all about to make that. Maple syrup thicker. Yeah. Hey, ma Daddy's little girl knows about thick viscous mm. sauces. Okay. Mm. I'll you tell you this. If Mm. If maple syrup was thicker, like authentic maple syrup, if that had a more Aunt Jemima or Miss Buttersworth quality, oh, yeah. that's that's a million dollar idea. That's some shit that I'll legitimately just suck out of the bottle without even waffles of or course. pancakes. I'm gonna put it I'll into put a baby's burgers. bottle and suck on that shit, man. Fuck yeah, dude! Straight from the nipple. Yeah, kind of like the yeah, and we're back at the baby straight fetish. Straight from the teat of Miss Buttersworth. <laughs> I wouldn't call it a baby fetish. Uh, I'd call it more like a. Like a role play as a as a baby, that's also sexual. I don't know, dude. Baby fetish just sounds like by itself just sounds like, you know. It sounds like a baby fetish is what it sounds like. Yeah, that's exactly it what it like sounds like. Sounds like a fucking baby fetish, dude. Dude, I'm gonna go. 
I'm gonna go tap a pine tree with my mouth, bro. I'm just gonna yeah. go, I'm just gonna raw dog it. I'm going straight in. Dude, it's like it's like milking a cow, but it's a tree. There's gotta there's gotta be something on here like an utter. I'm gonna find a nice knot in the tree. Mm. Yeah, the oh, knots. Yeah. I know yeah. it's got a sap pocket in there somewhere. Oh yeah, yeah. Come what out. is syrup? Give me your cargo. Syrup is is syrup like. Is... We both spent started a the lot sentence. Of time I, talking about syrup. I grew up. I grew up More saying so syrup. I'm from South possible. Carolina. South Carolina, they say syrup, but now mm. you know I syrup. say syrup. 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 I, syrup. I'm from. Slap. What do you say? Syrup. 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 Yeah, I say, I say syrup. 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 Maple syrup. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I there's a certain recently, I've realized recently that apparently, um, my sister brought this up when they were my family was visiting me in L.A. and I saw a YouTube comment about it. Apparently, I say experience in the in a very strange way. Really, and well, I think it's it, because say it like I say you, say it normally. This was a really good experience. Experience, experience. I didn't. But I didn't. I think pick sometimes. Up anything weird. I th you know what it must be. I think in my last video, I accidentally said experience or something like weird shit. Um, experience. <laughs> but I I don't know. Is there anything like that you guys have been like called out for? Any weird things you say? Oh, Matt, I how see do you in the fuck comments. Up your speech. Oh my god. Uh, I see people say it all the fucking time uh, that I say museum. I say museum instead of museum. Ooh, oh, that's and, embarrassing. And in the comments, people are like, museum? Dude, what the fuck is wrong with you, you fucking asshole? <laughs> dude, I can't museum. even understand what you're saying, dude. It's, it's, the whole sentence is ruined. They don't understand. And and, and I think that, honestly, uh, I mean, I, I get I'm saying it wrong, but like, I don't know, dude. In South Carolina, the dialect, I would say museum. Other people would say right. museum. Just like, like you wouldn't say crayon, you say crown. It's like you're throwing up a bit. Wait, like whoa, 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 whoa. Back up, back up, back up. Back up. What, buddy. How the fuck did you just pronounce crayon? crayon? I say crayon. As an adult, I say crayon. But like growing up, I said crown. Crown? You said crown? <laughs> Where do you even get crown from, actually? It's barely spelled. I can how do you spell the word crown then? I can get crayon. Crown. I could get like crayon, but I don't know about. Clown. I'm John with my crowns. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> that's not, that's not the and then also uh, a, another big one is um. Oh, it just escaped. What's my another head, one? So. Yeah, crayons is a big one. Uh, for me, paj it's for pajamas, pajamas, pajamas. Yeah, I, yeah, I can see. I that. say, I say, I say pajamas. I say actually, I kind of go between the two. Hmm. Pajamas, I do pajamas. 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 I do pajamas. Pajamas. Yeah. yeah. Pajamas. 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 What about, uh, what about, what do you call a traffic circle? The little, little circle. I... A rotary. What? Rotary? I call it, I call it a traffic circle. You call circle. that shit a rotary? What are you from yeah. fucking oh, Europe, dude? Jesus Christ, bro. That's some, that's some upstate bullshit, Ted. A rotary's a fucking old ass telephone, dude. Yeah, yeah. Ted, no one, no one says so, that. No one says that. No, is, no, no. It's this, is this is called the roundabout. This is called the roundabout. This is what we call these I things. I understand what all the other stuff are, and I and I use them. But where I'm from in Massachusetts, yeah, um, Massachusetts is the only state where we call it that. A rotary. You know, I'm looking at the map right now. You're like, right. There's no, a, in my hometown, you know, what we call Massachusetts drivers on the road. We call them mass holes, Ted. Mass holes. Well, you're you're saying true. that like it's like some sort of like wonderfully new piece of information. They embrace that, that though. Mass That's holes. the thing. People from Massachusetts totally embrace that. Like I, I'll totally, I'll totally admit to being an angry, shitty driver being from New York. <laughs> Yeah, like, I, this is just me? something like, I embrace. I'm an asshole. I, I'm not. I've never tried to convince anyone that I'm not a terrible, awful asshole. Yeah, yeah. I, but I, at least uh, you don't call them rotaries, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I mean, at least I don't. Do I'm that. looking at a list of words somewhere. people people say differently from different parts of the country, and uh, you guys are are from the north. I'm from the south. Mm. You know, I, I was below the Mason Dixon line. Okay, right. Uh, yeah, you were. You guys are fucking carpetbaggers. Uh, how do you how do you say? Uh, you, do you wait, say you call people from the East Coast carpet baggers? No, you're from the North. You dredged up north, some like third I'm from grade the East history Coast. class term that I did. No, not. literally, when I hear, I don't know what carpet bagger even means. I just know it that sounds in like South you Carolina, bag carpets. No, it was. It I swear like. to God, I like heard this in school. Yeah, in school. That's right. Like it. it was a term for something. Yeah. Oh, a political Dude, they don't, candidate they don't who teach... seeks a, election in an area where they have no local connections. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, they 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 didn't so like Civil War history taught in South Carolina like they kind of really gloss over the whole slavery thing. <laughs> really? This is a war of I, northern I, aggression. 
Yes, and I remember in the fucking textbook and my teacher talking about it, they literally had a part where it's like, it's like, masters would sometimes have feasts with their slaves and sing songs. I don't know. <laughs> this is Doesn't the, that sorry, sound I, nice? Jesus Christ. Yeah, no, this has always up. been. In, um, what, that they were having a good time? I went to school I in... <laughs> I went to school in Virginia, uh, and and they they did no their... no the 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 revisionist history aspect of it. Yeah, no they no it's, it's no he yeah, knew it's he knew they 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 oh. focused on the states' rights bit. It was like the thing yeah. that always mm -hmm. was, I was always caught it. Um, I wasn't as far south though. I can't even imagine. I got more questions. Yeah. Oh yeah, do lay them on me. I got man. more questions, man. Oh shit! My postmates is about. To what be is here. your general term for the rubber-soled shoes worn in gym class for athletic activities, etc.? Sneakers. See, okay, these things change because I went from East Coast to West Coast. Now I would say sneakers, but growing up, I would say tennis shoes. Tennis shoes. Wow. Tennis shoes. Tennis wow. shoes. Wow. Tennis, tennis shoes. That tennis. is a mouthful. Tennis. I Even prefer when you didn't the sneakers. Use them for tennis, really? No. No. Yeah. I mean, just just. Did that you ever play tennis? Shoe. I did. I took uh, lessons from my neighbor uh, uh, growing up. Yeah. Fine. But and I remember pissed. he. I, I wanted him to be impressed and think that I was very masculine. Uh, and I said "oopsie daisy" once when I missed <laughs> the ball. And I remember I was like, just like, "Fuck you, you fucking idiot!" What it's over, it? dude. Yeah, that, that fuck. That changed my life <laughs> after that moment. Oopsie daisy gave you like, away. It's not being a man. <laughs> yeah, man. No, men oh, don't no. say that shit. No, they don't. Flat, you call them fuck. sneakers, right? I call them sneakers. Yeah. I say sneakers now, but but I used to say tennis shoes. What do they call them in the UK? They call them like squeakers. There's probably some some stupid <clears throat> fucking thing. That Sneaky is Bilbo just, Baggins. <laughs> when you say it through your broken fucking crooked teeth, it just sounds all goofy. <laughs> oh my God. All right, here's here's an interesting one. Foot bag. Three three different words. Okay. The name Mary. Mm-hmm. When you are the the word for you know when you are in high spirits, yeah, like Mary. maybe Merry Christmas, right? Okay. So Mary, and, and then, then when you Mary. and then and then when you tie the knot to someone, so when you Mary. marry, them. it's all the same. It's all it's the all the same. Word. It's all the same, really. You, like have you, a Merry Christmas. Ma have a, oh, Ma so Mary. So this is how I, I, I would say Mary. It. Mary had a Merry Christmas when she married John. So Ted, yeah. you you pronounce them all differently, is what you're saying. I heard all the same. I heard all the same as well. No does it, shot. Mary, does the difference extend Mary had to a Merry our Christmas. ears as well? It sounds yeah, like Schwartz yeah. just got like a different ear than everyone. Mary, no, 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 no. Hold on, Mary hold on. I'm gonna Merry type Christmas. them out. I'm gonna type them out, and we yeah. are going to pronounce them. Let's go down the list. Okay. So let's start at you and end it. And I'll end start. It I'll let's start. The woman's name is Mary. That, that sounds when like you are over pronouncing it. No, 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 no. The woman's name is Mary. 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 Okay. When I when I wish someone a, you know have a good Christmas, I say have a merry Christmas. So it's different than Mary. It's it's more of like Mary. The same matter. You no, I, no, no, I don't no. hear very a different. Spice, very different. Man. And then and then when you tie the knot to someone, you marry them. That so these are all three. Okay, that was a little different. Three very different pronunciations for the words. I did. I did hear Mary, a little bit there. Actually, hey, you know say what? Say it like it, this, shot. Say, say it in a sentence like this. Mary had a Merry Christmas on oh. the day she was to marry. Okay, those so were So it sounds different. like you say them a little bit differently, Schlatt. I think I different. say them a little bit differently. Yeah. Let me raise you this. I think this. you're on the same boat as me, because I would say Mary had a Merry Christmas on the day she was to Let marry. Let me raise you this. Mary had a Merry Christmas on the day oh, she was probably to fun. Mary. You shoot oh, right Charlie, why would you say that, dude? Mary wait, had wait. a Merry Christmas on the day she was to Mary. Listen to this. I, I would say right? Mar Mary had a Merry Christmas on the day she was to Mary. It's all oh, that, that checks sad. out to me. Okay, why does that sound weird? The I'm Mary at the map. had I'm a Merry <laughs> Christmas on the day she was to Mary. How's that? I'm looking at the map here. This is a, this is a very interesting one. Me and Ted are in the same fucking boat, but literally no one else is. The entire fucking continental United States says it completely the same. Say okay, but say specifically, them all three fast. specifically, like, New York, the tri-state area, <laughs> and Massachusetts Mary. has <laughs> complete different pronunciations for each word. Say Mary had a one. Merry Christmas the day she was to marry. Mary had a Merry Christmas oh, okay. on the day she was to marry. Mary. 
I no. marry, you marry, marry, marry. You Mary. marry someone. You marry, marry someone. You have a Merry Christmas, and you your name Mary. is Mary. Mary Listen had a Merry Christmas on the day she was to marry. That's so boring. And then her Mary, husband Mary, cheated Mary. on her, That's and they so went boring. on Mari. <laughs> <laughs> you guys like Mari? I like Mari. Yeah, it's a funny one. That's a funny one. Um, yeah, like Schlatt, is there one. any other pronunciation stuff other than just uh, the Mary hey, shit? There's some st- I, I was going I down the list the and I found I thought, syrup was on there. I, I went with the ones I thought would, would have the most uh, clashes. You know, there's different ways. Like, Definitely had a pretty large crash there with the uh, the Oregon. rotary thing. But if yeah. you look it up, Schlatt, it's literally just mass. I'm on the map right now, dude. Isn't that crazy? I know. <laughs> like in my yeah, hometown, I'll be going regional, to the one okay. traffic circle by the fucking prison. Traffic and circle, that's a, right. Uh, and, and then it, it, there's a big sign that calls the rotary. So just be like, I'll be sitting. The old roundabout. I'll be, I don't know, I'll get a the call rotary. from my mom and be like, I'll be like, are you almost home? And she'll be like, yeah, I'm going through the rotary right now. Oh, Here's I have a, one. That's, that sounds like she's traveling through a telephone. Now. Or yeah, uh, like, yeah, I'm, I'm by the rotary. Matt. Because there's one, there was one, there's one big fucking rotary. That, like, rotary. Under I the can't. Highway. I can't take you seriously saying that shit, man. Yeah, it's honestly unbelievable. Um, you sound like a fucking you think idiot. You're so dude. much better than us. You sound and like I a fucking it. honestly. I kind of do. It's kind of cool to have a different word than everyone. That's a little else. bit Come cringe. Down, can you country. step down to our level for just one second? Um, Ted's I don't posting. Think I really right want now. to meddle with the peasants of the traffic Matt, circles. Oh, Matt, 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 uh, Matt. I've got to yeah. ask you. You're a you're a baron. You're a baron. You've got all this land. You've got all this stuff under it to exploit. What is that stuff called? Oil. Okay. Oil. Yeah. Oil. 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 Oh. Oil. Ted. Oil. Yeah. No. no wait. 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 I did he... No. That's Oil. fine. That's fine. Oil. Oil. Say. Say it again. Oil. 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 Two syllables. I think we're all on the same page. We're here. on the same Wait, page we, there. How do you how we're do you the say the country page. below? Wa- I mean, not the country, the fucking state below Washington. <laughs> I don't know. Let me look at a freaking what map. What states below Washington? <laughs> Oregon? Oregon. 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 Oh, Always okay. just so Oregon. Schla- so Matt says Oregon. He says I, it like it's the like it's the instrument. As the a child, part, I yeah. used to say Oregon, but I say Oregon now. Oregon. I'm already going crazy listening to you guys right now. Trevor okay, Modescue says egg and well, milk. Egg? Milk. Oh, and yeah, milk. Oh, milk. I've milk. definitely egg. heard that one before. An egg. Sure. Egg. It's not egg. 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 Fucking hate when people say egg. Egg. Can I have an egg? Scrambled eggs? No, bro. Milk? It's I've egg. never heard this before, man. I've that shit's an egg. Before. Modest Cube, man. He's so fucking weird. I'll tell Dude, you where... he, he stayed at my place two weekends ago, and uh, we Trevor. shared a bed. We uh, oh, he you? slept in my bed with me, wow. man, and he just he kept he being just, weird about just, it. He was he kept saying eggs. All he was saying eggs and eggs. I know. I'm trying to fall asleep. And he was covered. And he was covered in oil. And he was uh, yeah, which it's a brand new bed I just got, so okay. I was kind of pissed off that he got in the sheets covered in oil. So I needed to reach over into the milk drawer. 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 Wait, no. You do not say drawer. One syllable. <laughs> drawer. 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 Yeah, it's fine. I this open the like drawer. The weirdest, this is probably the weirdest section of the podcast we've ever done. I'm really this enjoying like, it, though. I'm enjoying it a lot. Yeah. And okay. then my mom's definitely sister. definitely devolved into just a Discord call at this point. <laughs> well, hang on. Hang on. Hang on, because I'm getting a little hungry. I'm getting a little... Uh, mm. I was just going to put that Caramel. on. Oh, I said caramel. Oh, caramel. here we go, baby. Caramel. caramel. Oh, Car- what the oh, fuck? Car- oh, caramel. God. My head. I caramel. My chocolate is filled with caramel. No one says caramel, dude. dude. Go watch a fucking commercial for like some candy, what like some fake? mainstream what Hershey shit. Caram- They're gonna say caramel. 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 That? caramel. Fucking nothing. It's caramel. caramel. Watch. It watch any candy caramel. commercial. They sell caramel. Not even my dumbass aunt caramel. would say car- caramel. Oh, Schlatt, my right aunt there. wouldn't I'm either. Giving my, I'm Schlatt. going to the store to get mm. my grandmother some caramels. Wait, Caram- wait. Well, okay, I hear what yeah, Schlatt well, just said? You sound like a little grandma's boy. You, said, you hear what Schlatt just said? I just no, said, I aunt. said aunt. My aunt? aunt? My aunt? Yeah, I say, I say aunt. I say aunt. Yeah, I say... Uh, so, here, you want to hear something fucking weird? Yeah. On my, uh, on my dad's side of the family, we do... Uh, aunt, and then on the other side of the family, we do aunt. That's 
crazy. Almost as crazy That's as fucked up, dude. Almost as crazy as pecans. Pecan. <laughs> Pecans? I don't Man, say the, the word enough. Man, in the fucking enough. south, we say pecan. Bro, what the fuck? I don't say the word enough. Like, no, what, the hell are you, what the hell are you peeking at? I did, like, come on, pecan. Charlie, I think that you are really the odd one out in a lot of these. Yeah, but it's different because I'm I have a, oh. I have one where I um I will 100% be the odd man out, okay? You say you're it. really thirsty. Say you're playing a sport with a buddy of yours. You don't have a drink. It's the worst experience ever. So you go to your buddy and you're like, hey... Can I get a blank? Waterfall. Waterfall. You'd call that a waterfall. So yes. when you when you when you take the Sip. drink and 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 squirt you it into it? your mouth, maybe hover it a little bit. Yeah, that's a waterfall. You call that a waterfall. All right, Absolutely. Ted. What do you call that? What do I call that? Yeah. Um, I think that I would say something along the lines of like, "Hey, can I waterfall that?" Water yeah, I say waterfall too. If if we're talking about like you take someone's drink and you like throw yeah. your head back and, yeah, you, and you, yeah, yeah, you don't put your lips on, you right? Know, you don't put your mouth on. It. I'm kind of scared. What do you call it? I this is this is I learned that no one fucking calls it that, and it is okay. it is extremely extremely just like where I'm from. We call this yeah, we, idiot land. We call this an air sip. An air sip. An air Christ. sip. Because I'm it's a sip recording. in the air. Yeah, we can end the podcast. I'm my camera we can end off. the podcast. I have, right I've now had food sitting out on my front an step for sip. like twenty minutes. Really? Anybody who That's calls it anybody who calls this an air sip, please leave a comment with Wait. the exact coordinates in which you live. And I'm trying to prove a point here. If you call this an air sip, please let me know where you are from. Not just the state, but the the town, maybe even the street name and your address. The township. Just feels like That's a mistake wild. you Last made one. as a child, and then your parents. We call told this. Okay we call this an air sip. What air about sip, when, huh? What about yeah. when you go to the store and get and get bags of, of food and, and you go to the and, grocery store. Grocery. I, I've always said grocery. Now I yeah. say grocery. You put on the crocs. Uh, you put on the crocs and you store? get some crocs, dude. It's. Easy. I say grocery store. I say grocery. Yeah. Grocery. I'm gonna get some groceries. No, I, there's no sh sound for me. It's grocery. Grocery. grocery, grocery. Yeah, I say grocery as like you know. No, I definitely a, say a grocery. Intelligent grown man. You're getting something it's like yucky. Grocery, it's a grocery, grocery mm. store. Ew, grocery. Hey, uh, when you're when you uh, kill someone Air sip, though, and you need to dispose of the body and put yeah, it in the, the ground, what are you doing with that body? Murder. Burying. burying it. Bury. Oh, burying. You're burying it. Yeah, burying. you're burying it. Yeah. Burying? Schlatt, I, I say like, the same as the wait, fruit. Before we burying. go away from the air sip thing, though, yeah. Schlatt, I feel like that's more potentially something that you just sort of decided with your little No, man. Everybody boys. around where I'm from says air sip. It's, it's really? this very just, extremely probably, regional sense, thing. They probably just feel bad. And they're all just... Schlatt's just living a lie, and they're, they're all just like, oh, guys, God, he's dude. like, guys, before you, if you're ever in a situation where Schlatt's going to ask you for some water at some point, just call it an air sip. I just Googled and it, man, and there's only 20,000 results. This is a prank oh, that small. everyone the, around you the, has been bro. playing on you for your entire life. Dude, maybe I'm, up, maybe I'm crazy, but like, this is what everybody, everybody I know calls it a fucking air sip, bro. Wow. You know what? I don't know what to tell my you. My girl, hold on. My my girlfriend's from upstate New York, so let me uh, mm. let me let me ask her. I'll, I'll say, have you ever heard of an air sip? I feel like it could be a while before we get a response for that. And I was going to say, I, I was going to say, you know, what if you ask for an air sip? Will she know? Yeah, just next time you see her, ask for an air sip. If she says air sip, I'm going to punch her in the fucking jaw. I'm going to clock her right in the face because that's unacceptable. It's bu- and it's bullshit. It's she said no, oh question mark. Yep, there okay. we go. It's just yeah, an elaborate prank, That's man. fair. That's, that's fair. Everyone's been yeah, I'm crazy. I'm life. crazy. I'm crazy. I think we're we're sort of, uh, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like we're sort of reaching the end of those. This was a, we did a long podcast here. I'm realizing it's been like an hour and 20 minutes. Ooh, yeah. yeah um, but Hey, well, you know, daddy's little but, girl will stick around for as long as she needs to. Okay, you yeah, can't da- do that Daddy's little now girl is here. Now it seems daddy's like I'm little to get girl. Rid of him or something. Daddy's well, little girl will, it, it feels is like. prepared to stay for another forty minutes. Well, wow. Daddy's little girl is having a good time, and 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 Ted is going. Oh, well, daddy daddy really, is very very Ted, pleased that Daddy's Ted, little you, girl what, is Ted, having a good time. Why are you punishing time. Daddy's little girl? I feel, I feel only Daddy like gets to punish Daddy's little girl, Ted. And more only Daddy gets to punish her. I feel like we're punishing Scott. 
Ted, you're what, not the, the punisher here. <laughs> the miner that edits the podcast for us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, sorry, Scott. Oh, I'm, I'm, no, yeah. I mean punishing in terms of like it being so long, he's going to have to edit it for longer. Well, like we were, we're oh, in, in, the within the stomping. same thirty seconds. We used you used punish in two different senses. <laughs> yeah, I used it in that, a different sense than you guys. Just, you guys yeah. were using it. Let me just well, make well, that daddy's clear. little girl. Does she need to be punished? Mm. Oh, that's a question for Schlatt. Schlatt, I think. Even though we're not too compatible on the uh, oh. star sign thing, I think Daddy will make an exception. <laughs> mm. Hey guys, you head down into the comments section today and let us know if you think that daddy's little girl should be punished. <laughs> hey, you know what they say, what you know, you know what they say. What do they, what could they what possibly are they, what say? Are they it's say? not like an ass slapping sound, like spanking, like no, ba no, bad just, daddy's little girl. No, no. Well, yo, you know what they say. Girl, dab me up. Hey, yo, what's up, man? Either Daddy's way, little girl good. up in here. Matt Watson. Good. You ain't getting punished for that. <laughs> Matt, Matt Watson. Matt Watson of Super Mega, which I think Thanks. we never specified. Wait, we just kind of... Wait a second. Wait a second. Huh? Mega or Mega? Mega. 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 I say You're Mega. You're just manufacturing I'm... conflict. Matt, no, people, people say Mega. You, Super people Mega. people want to find you, Matt, where can they find you? Yeah, Matt, okay. we're getting you off this fucking podcast. Sorry. Dude. Yeah, I, uh, Daddy's little girl is going to be gone in just a second. <laughs> I have a YouTube channel. Uh, with my best friend Ryan, and we do a bunch of weird fucking videos, multiple ones a week, and a weekly podcast called Super Mega. And uh, I'm also on like Twitter, and I make music, and I have my own channel that's small that I put stupid shit on. You got Matt any projects? Watson. Any projects in particular you wanna you wanna plug or anything you wanna shout out? Dude, plug the uh, the NASCAR thing. Oh yeah, I'm flying to Charlotte later this week because we we our channel sponsored a NASCAR, so we're the first YouTubers to have our logo on a fucking NASCAR. And on <laughs> right. the back of the NASCAR yeah. is Ryan pointing and laughing. I have my arms crossed, all smug, and it has a quote and it says, "Yep, you just got passed." <laughs> Matt Watson and Ryan McGee, rich YouTubers. Rich YouTubers. Oh my god. Yeah, we so that's good. Talked about this for the entire time that we were talking about the pronunciations of no, different I'm words. No, I'm glad we talked. But about I would the like to talk a little bit more about the shit stomping with the wobble. Yeah, stomping yeah, let's go back to but wobble I guess stomping it'll have for 30 to wait minutes. Until the next time. Matt, we'll see you on the next episode of the Chuckle Sandwich Podcast. It was great to have you, man. Great Thank to you have for you. Having you're me. such an you awesome guys guy. Of and you're also handsome, but I mean, you're Thank a Sagittarius, you. so. I'm not a Sagittarius. You're not I'm a Sagittarius. Aquarius. You're an Aquarius, so. Uh, All right. Thanks so much Thanks for so listening much. to this shit, and we will stomp you later. <laughs> Bye. Peace out.